obviously here for kind of how to find out your macros and what way to go about the way way to start up or you're here to see what is going on uh, for the future in terms of the photo shoot so if you don't know and um, if you're not following me on instagram or facebook then you don't know if you really saw it or not but uh i'm gonna be doing another photo shoot only this time um it's gonna be with clients not that a competition nothing got there it's a photo shoot it's for personal training um i'm just basically gonna bring myself down and a few clients um what actually happened was these clients are not forced to do it by the way they wanted to do it themselves so I got, I got asked a few times by a few clients, so I was like, right, I'll put up a post on Facebook and Instagram, see what response you get, and if I get a good response, then I'll go ahead and do it. So, I put it up on Sunday, today is actually Tuesday, and I got a really good response. So, I was like, right, um, I'll take them clients, we'll do uh, 12 weeks, I'm going to do it before Christmas, I haven't set an exact date yet, I'm thinking like one about 20th of December, so just before Christmas, and... Um, We'll do 12 weeks, roughly it's 12 weeks at that time, but we'll do 12 weeks, uh, cut down, whoever's ready, we'll, we'll do the photo shoot, I'm going to be ready because I don't have that much to lose, and yeah, so that's what's going on, photo shoot, I, know, I don't know why, I just, I want them to do it, and we're going to do it, so I'm going to bring you along with me, I'm going to do everything from the macro, to the training, to what's going on, what way I'm going to do it, and i put on this from five start till the very end. So, uh, yes, um, today is Tuesday. I started yesterday. Um, I haven't got the time to do the video yesterday, so I'm doing it today. But we got this morning at 168.2, so that's a starting weight 168.2. Hopefully, get down to 158, and that'll be me ready. Um, but yeah, first of all, I want to take you through uh, macros 101, kind of what way I go about it by cutting down. Um, for my clients and myself and um, so yeah first of all um this is the only way to kind of do like kind of find out your calories or the only way to cut down or whatever i'm doing it my way the way i do it and it works from past experience and there's been a few studies of long and all that but so first of all obviously you need to find out your maintenance calories first um you need to find out your maintenance calories what this basically is is find out much calories you need a day including like walking sleeping just sitting about like the am now talking so we all have a maintenance calories everyone you me you and first of all what we're going to do is take our body weight in pounds so the minute i'm 168 so we're going to take 168 multiplied by between 14 and 16 so multiply by 14 first 2352 calories and then uh, 168 multiplied by 16 is 2688 calories but what i'm going to do for this one i'm going to stick to the 14 so this is kind of a really quick bit of math to do um what you do to your body weight multiply by between 14 and 16 uh pick whatever number you want if you're a bit more active obviously choose 16 if you're a bit less active then do 14 but i am pretty active already but i want to just dip in this prep quickly and then get out of it so cut down um fairly quickly enough quicker than my last prep but protein knowledge will be still high so i'm focusing on not losing muscle at all but so we're going to do 168 on the plate by 14 is 2350 at basically saying that's what my maintenance calories is between 2350 and 2688 but what way i'm going to find this out is uh, i'm going to take my calories 2350 calories that's what i'm going to do a whole week off so my first week of um, cutting down in this prep is going to be on 2,350 calories. Track my weight for a week on that amount of calories, keep the activity level the same, not flat out in cardio whatever, and see what weight I am at the end of the week. If I've lost maybe a pound or two, um, that'll be happy for me. It all depends on how quick you want to lose it. So if you want to lose four or five pound, then obviously the calories going to go a little bit lower. But one or two pound a week is good for me. Um, so I'm going to do 2,000. 350 calories for a week. Check my weight every every morning before food and all stuff like that. And then uh, depend on my if I drop some, I don't need to change the calories. So if your weight starts to stop and like not go down anymore, then that's when you need to cut the calories down or add in more uh, cardio. So yeah, that's basically it. Now we've got the calories kind of maintenance um 
what we're going to do is break down a protein, fats and carbs. So first of all, we are going to find out our protein, okay? So what I like to do is kind of keep it like one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So uh, if you're 168 like me, um, you would take your protein, one gram multiplied by 168 is like 168 protein, obviously grams. So, or if you're a bit more, going a bit more fast for me, up with the protein a bit more, just so you have that there, um, a bit more protein for cutting down so you don't lose muscle. And um, so what we're going to do, protein, uh, one, obviously gram multiplied by 168 equals 168 grams of protein. So we have 168 grams of protein. Um, I'm not going to go into all this lean body mass stuff. You can do it, but I'm just going to keep it as simple as possible for you so you understand. So, first of all, we've got our cut, we've got our protein, 168 grams of protein. Next, we're going to find our fats. So I'm going to do 20% of the calories um, for my fats. Um, usually you want to keep it above 15 and roughly, depending if you're just doing a balanced, uh, balanced macro breakdown, uh, between 15 and 25 percent is good range of fats. So, so we're going to find out fats and because I'm not a mathematical genius, we're going to type in the Google 20 percent of 2350. So it gives me 52 grams of fat, 20 percent of my calories is going to give me 52 grams of fat. So 52 grams of fat. Then for carbs, it's a different kind of way you're going to do this, okay? So, what we're going to do is we need to find how many calories in from protein and fats. So, remember the, the protein, 168 grams, we're going to multiply it by 4. Because in every gram of protein, there is 4 calories. Every gram of carbs, there's 4 calories. And every gram of fat, there's 9 calories. So, we're going to take... The 168 multiplied by 4, which is going to give us 672 calories for protein. Next, we are going to take fat, and because fat is 9 calories per gram, we are going to do 52 multiplied by 9 equals. So 468 calories is going to come from fats. What we're going to do next is we're going to put the cal uh, calories from protein and fats together. So so 468 calories uh, from the fats and the 672 calories from the protein, we're going to add them together. So 468 plus 672 equals... So putting them two together is going to give us 1140 calories. Next what we're going to do is take our 2300 from the very start, what we've, what we've got. We're going to take that number and take away 1140 calories from the protein and fats and that is going to give us 1,210 calories. 1,210 calories is going to be how many calories are going to have left for carbs. So next what we do is remember four calories in every gram of uh, carbs. What we're going to do is to feed the 1,210 calories for carbs. To feed that by four and that's how many grams of carbs are going to be on. 1,210 to feed it by four equals 302 grams of carbs. So at the end of all that there, what we are left with is protein at 168 grams, fats at 52 grams, and carbs at 302 grams. Now, they are kinda a rough kinda, not rough isn't it, but that's a good way to start. Um, for probably the easiest in my, in what I can think of, easiest way. Um, unless you're a complete beginner and you're like a way high body fat, you don't really need to win the macros too soon to go spike the planet getting healthy. But that's the first, this is going to be the first video of what's going to be about macros 101. That is how you get it broke down. Um, I hope it came across okay. Uh, like, I hope you understand it correctly. If not, then give me a DM or something on Instagram and I'll help you if you want. Um, that is the way I go, uh, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to be on 2,350 calories for the whole week. Track my weight, and if I've lost two pounds or whatever, then great. Don't need to change anything, don't need to add in any cardio, keep the same till it slows down. If I haven't lost any weight, I'll probably drop the calories down a bit more or add in a bit more, maybe a walk or two more, listen to a few podcasts, and that's why I'm going to do it. Um, 10 pounds, 12 pounds, that's some plenty of emotion I want to lose. Um, only a photo shoot, it's not a competition, so I'm happy with that there. Um, but yeah. That's the plans. If you have any topics you want covered in this channel, um, let me know 
I will uh, help you. I got a question I meant to do from a boy who commented on the video about leg and body parts turn on and I'm gonna get it up. Um, quickly gonna add this question in why I'm kinda of talking to this. I know I've given you so much speech to them in the butt and quickly gonna uh, answer this question. So the question I got was would you ever consider doing a video on the most common leg and muscle groups in the body, e IG apps, calves and forearms? Create a video on the best way to train for them, just suggesting kind of keep on it. So yeah, um body uh leg and body parts I'll answer this quickly um we're, going, we're probably going to get leg and body parts and it's going to be the ones you kind of mentioned so the traps, calves and forearms but you have to remember they're the kind of ones you don't really train as much the obvious thing to do would be to train them more so put more focus on them um, what I started doing a good few months ago I started adding more I thought my arms were kind of more skinny I wanted them bigger so work them out more so I'll train them more maybe three four times a week um, instead of like the two so that could be a thing, maybe add in more traps, it's just a normal muscle at the end of the day. Um, you just have to train it more often. Um, I don't really train forearms, traps and then again, but I train calves like two, three times a week. Often, but that's really it. Um, also, I do try and get them in more often and probably hit them a bit harder, change the intensity up, just change, change the way I train them up, hit them from different angles. Um, you just have to keep training, training them and make sure you're obviously eating enough calories to put on muscle and just keep it going. It's going to be a slow process if you have bad genetics in that spot, so that's the way um, that's what I think about them. So, hope that helped. So, I'm going to end this video here. It's already like 16 minutes here, I'm going to have to break it down, but I don't want it too long. I want to get in, break, help uh, unions. I'm going to try and get two videos a week. Um, because I'm quite fit fly of personal training them and then I have to put more focus in the McLean's now, big time. So, uh, yeah, um, we quick update for anyone who cares about what's going on. Currently going into, um, I'm getting, going to get like tops made. Um, I've already got like a wee kind of sample kind of product in. Um, jackets on tops of, um, I'm going to get like a wee logo, just Connor Boyle or can I be fit or can I boy fitness or something like that or gonna get that um going on and we tops us together so get me a mate for the clients if anyone else kinda interested in that door kinda give me a shout um get me a mate and yeah that's what's going on. But yeah of course if you have any topics you want covered let me know I will sure cover them in a video like when I'm doing one and maybe at the end of the video whatever and talk about it. But uh yeah comment below um whatever and yeah Hope you like this video, hope it helped some way. Yeah, hit the subscribe button, this is gonna be a good series. Gonna be posting a lot. Follow me on Instagram, gonna be talking a lot on that there as well. So big things are coming. Thank you for watching. Just hit the subscribe button down below and catch the next video.